Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Forex Pro Academy. And um, this, my name is Gospel H. Hathaway, by the grace of God. I'm a life coach, a forex trader. And to the glory of God, we've gotten a lot of people that have graduated from this place. So you'll be wondering, what's the mission for this program? The aim for this program is to give you this training for four good days. And once you receive this training, there's every tendency that works. You understand the concept of what forex trading. So let's start. Let me share my screen with you. What exactly are we doing for today? For today, we are looking into introduction to Forex trading. We'll talk about exchange rate. We'll go into fundamental analysis. Then we'll talk about technical analysis. Day two, which is tomorrow. Please, I'm begging all of you. Don't miss tomorrow's class for anything. Day two, we'll look into pips. We'll look into lots, leverage, brokers, platforms and charting softwares, types of traders, technical analysis. Then day three. Day three is a day I usually, I do something for day three. I organize practicals for everybody. And I also try my best to teach some theoretical aspect of it. So for tomorrow, you'll be wondering what we'll be doing tomorrow. We are going to have a practical section tomorrow. Uh, I, I mean, for day three, whereby I will tell someone to download MetaTrader 4, then the person will make analysis. Who I will explain from here, and the person will teach the class. Last day, what are we going to talk about? We'll look into trade management how to manage your trades so that you don't get bonds accounts. We'll look into my FX book, investing.com. So let's quickly dive into the one. I said the one is the introduction to Forex. Let's go straight. What exactly is Forex? Have you asked yourself this question? What exactly is Forex trading? Forex is simply known as foreign exchange and is the largest financial market where currencies are bought, sold, and exchanged for one another. For example, stock markets. It has no centralized exchange and transactions are performed over the counters. Participants trade with one another through a worldwide network of banks. Brokers and other financial institutes. Plus, the truth is, Forex is just a simple activity you and I will participate in. I have money, I exchange it for a television set. That's it. Buying of currency pairs. So some people called me, because what exactly are we doing in the forex market? We buy pairs. Very good example of pairs, Euro USD. And Euro, Euro USD is a very good example of pair you can buy in the market. I will explain, I will dive into that deeply. Do you know that virtually, $5.2 trillion is dropped every day in the market for you and I to profit from. But the question is, how much are you going to gain in the market today? Like today, I know how much I got into my life account. I'm telling you the truth, Ivy. I know how much I got into what? My life account. Let's proceed. Forex is actually open 245. When I mean 245, it is actually traded from Mondays to Fridays. And what section are we looking at? We are looking at what? In New York, Tokyo, Zurich, Frankfurt, Hong Kong, Singapore, Paris, and Sydney. These sections are exactly what we try to look, we see into Forex. I mean. So now, So now let's proceed. What do we do in the forest market? We either buy or we sell. You must have sat down and asked yourself, 
what exactly do we do in this market? We either buy or we sell. Buying and selling is of two things. Look at it. Look at the, the green animal. The green animal is an indication of what a buy. The other animal, which is a bear, is an indication of what a sell. Like I used to tell people, when you check the chart of forex, you will see either blue or green. Blue or green is an indication that what you are buying. Why the other one, which is red, or sometimes some people use white, is an indication that what you are selling in the forex market. Let's proceed. Who is entitled to trade forex? Central banks. Central bank is the first body that is in charge of forex. Whenever you notice a deep move or a deep um, um, a deep change in the market, it is an indication that what central banks have come into the market. They have affected the market seriously. Like for those that trade life accounts, something happened today, Euro USD. There was a big move in the market, a big buy. Just like last week, there was a big sell in the market. Now, the next thing I'll talk about is, if you look at it so closely, that's for central bank. Who else trades for it? Commercial banks. Example of commercial banks are Echo Bank, Kisto Bank, Polaris Bank, Guarantee Trust Bank, um, JP Morgan, so on and so forth. All of what is a trade for it. Even what they call them, uh, Zen Bank and Co. They all trade for it. Who is entitled to this again? Investment managers. Yeah, multinational corporation. There are some bodies here by they'll tell you that bring one million naira, we'll trade for you for two, three months, you get a five percent. Yes, they exist. These are also bodies that trade for us. Who else is involved? Multinational corporations. Who are the multinational corporations? They are you and I. You and I that we know that how much is our money? Our money is just simply small in the forest market. So these are the people that we that give us, uh, uh, we go into the market and trade. But the question is, can we trade in the market that way? No, we trade with the help of what? Of brokers. We actually what? Trade with the help of what? Brokers. So that's what we, that's exactly what we do in the Forex market. Now, I decided to get a flow chart. Why? Because I feel that you people be needing the flow chart. Mr. Gabriel, please, can you mute yourself, please? Thank you, sir. Now, for the flow chart, if you look at it very well. Okay. The mid All right. Okay, because as you are on, as you have not muted yourself, I can get a sign of a network problem, please. Thanks, sir. Now, if you look at it, the central banks, they're in the middle. They are the ones that actually affect the market. Another body that assists or that goes alongside with the central bank is the major bank. And I told you the example of major bank is what? Zenith Bank, First Bank, Histo. Yeah, see, all these banks you see, have you ever sat down and asked yourself, how do they usually get money they use? See, let me tell you something you don't know today. In case if you are thinking that it's your 50-50 Naira or 150 that banks used to pay their staff, it's a big lie. I'm not saying they are not making money, they do. But they also have a strong body that trades for them. See, the best job you can ever get in Forex, the best job you can ever get is when you actually trade in the financial market. Are you with me? Is when you actually trade in the financial market. That's the best job you can ever get. And I can assure you that if you are part of those that you must be so busy, go to those headquarters. Those people that trade forex, they are always busy. They always like, for instance, whenever I own my laptop and I trade forex, for instance, I don't usually trade my laptop. But if I'm entitled to trade, I always see myself like I am based on the system and on the full 24 7. 
sometimes when I sleep, I actually based on the system. When I sleep, brother, I am actually awake trying to what assess my chart to see how far I've gone. Are you with me? So as a forex trader, you are not, you shouldn't be the type that is lazy. Now, what's the next slide? Base currency and code currency. The first listed currency of a currency pair is called the base currency. And the second listed currency of a currency pair is called what? A code currency. Now, currency pairs are actually, now, when from normal English language, we know that a pair of slippers is a combination of two, left and right. Now, a pair of um, shoe is a combination of what two, left and right. Currency pair means combination of what two currencies. And if you look at my screen, what you have there is Euro USD. Euro is the first listed currency. Why USD is a what? Is the second listed currency, which is and the first listed currency, which is Euro, is called what? The um, it's called the base currency, and the other one, which is USD, is called what? The code currency. Now, combination of this pair is sorry, I said combination of this pair. Combination of these currencies is what gives you exchange rates, which I'll be going into very soon. My next slide. Are you with me? So let's proceed. Euro USD. Euro is the base currency, and USD is the code currency. GPP AUD. GPP is Great Britain pounds. GPP is the base currency, and AUD is the code currency. Class, I have something for you. XAU USD. AU is the symbol of gold. XAU USD. What is the base currency? I, I need you to use the chat box. Tell me the base currency and the code currency for XAU USD. Tell me the base currency and the code currency quickly. You have just two minutes for that, please. For XAU USD, tell me the base currency and the code currency, please. I'm waiting. Use the chat box. For XAU USD, tell me the base currency and the code currency, please. XAU is the base currency. Why USD is the code currency? Wow, wow, wow. That's Madam Lady Wood, Woo, right? <laughs> That's very smart of you. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very much. She got it perfectly. That's really wonderful. Thank you so, so much, man. I sincerely appreciate that. All right. Yes, so, sir. yeah. So, let me see the next one on my list. Now, if you look at it, Let's proceed. She's so correct. But before I continue, please, if you know you understand what I'm doing in this class, can you just type five in the chat box? Yeah, you are actually you're uh, actually getting what I'm doing in this class. Can you type five in the chat box? You know you type five what? Just type five in the chat box. If you know you understand that, so, or if you know you understand, B, just say hi, and that's all. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Lady Wood. Thank you. I appreciate you. All right. Thank you so much. So let's proceed quickly. You've all done well. That's the truth. Let's proceed. Um. Oh, thank you. More fights still flowing. Thank you. Mr. Gabriel, thank you so much, Mr. Gabriel. I appreciate it. Exchange rate. Exchange rate is the rate at which one currency will be exchanged for another. It is also regarded as the value of one country's currency in relation to another. When we believe that one currency will rise against another currency we buy, and when we believe that one currency we, we um, sorry, when we, okay, and we sell the what? The weak currency. This is what exchange rate is all about. Let's go to my screen. Let's say I have 
AUD USD. AUD USD is Australian dollar versus United States dollar. And let's say the rate for AUD USD is 400. And the rate for United States dollar is 600. Plus, you agree with that zeros cancel zeros. Two year two. Two into three is what? Two into six is what? Geo mathematics. Two divided by three is what? That will give you blah, blah, 0 0.67. Let's say 0 0.67. Yes, yeah, somebody's raising his hand, Mr. Welch. Mr. Welch, I'll soon be with you. Mr. Welch, I can see you. If you have a question, can you just wave me? Wave me on the screen if you have a question. Mr. Welch, you can wave me if you have a question. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Ask your questions quickly. Mr. Welch, ask your question. I can, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Let me unmute you. Unmute yourself, unmute yourself, please. I've done that. Okay, proceed. I, I just want this calculation. I, mm. I just want to start all over again. Okay, no problem. Mm. Thank all you, right. sir. Mm. Yeah. Like I said, class, I said, I want to get the exchange rate of AUD USD. You know, I told you currency pair is a combination of what? Two pair, two currencies. Let's say if you come, you know, AUD, let's say you convert AUD to Naira, you have 400. You know, when you convert USD to Naira, it is 500. Let's say you convert AUD to Naira, you have 400. Please, I'm assuming. Let's say you convert United States dollars to Naira, you have 600. Please, of course, I know that's not true. I'm assuming. Zeros cancel zeros. You know, Mr. Welch and every member of the house, you'll be left with four over six. You agree with me? Because the zeros have canceled the zeros. You'll be left with four over six, right? So two year into four, two, two into what? Six is what? Three. Two divided by three is what? Zero point what? Six, six, seven. Two divided by three is what? Zero point six six seven. Is it clear to that point? Hello, class. Is it clear to that point? Okay, I can see Mr. Gabriel. Is it clear to that point, class? Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm getting messages. On, oh, thank you, I'm getting messages, thank you. So that is the exchange rate for Australian dollar versus United States dollar. That is the exchange rate for what? Australian dollar versus what? United States dollar. Let me now tell you how you can buy and sell in the market. Let me now show you how you can what? Buy and sell in the market. Let's start. Class, remember that the exchange rate for Australian dollar versus United States dollar. is 0 0.667. Now, let's say I remember class that this was 400 versus what, 600. That was all led to what, 0 0.667. Let's say Mr. Gabriel calls me now. That, ah, Mr. Ghost Power. Australian dollar has increased in the market by 500. If Australian dollars increase in the market, you agree with me that by 100, that would be 500 towards 600. The only thing that increased in the market class, take note, was what? Australian dollar. So 
But United States dollar still remains as well, 600. So do your mathematics. Zero cancel zeros. Five divided by six is what? 0 0.833. Geo mathematics, five divided by six is what? 0 0.833, are you with me? That's exactly what I got in that math. Now class, in mathematics, when if values are going in ascending order, it is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. are you with me? So it means that Australian dollar, in, Australian dollar has increased from 0 0.667 to what? 0 0.883. So what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to what? Buy in the market. Are you, you are supposed to what? Buy in the market. Anytime the base currency increases, like the way it's increased from 400 to 500, what do you do, class? You buy in the forest market. Are you with me? You buy in the forest what? market. Now, look at it very well, class. If you go now from 400 to 300, let's say Mr. Le Madam Lady Wood calls me, Mr. Gospower, this thing has dropped to, it has dropped to what, from 400 to 300. So from 400 to 300, that'll be what? That's a loss. So remember that you see you have 600 there. So zeros cancel zeros. Three year one, three into six is what two. One divided by two is what? 0 0.5000. Class, what do you notice? There's a drop in the market. There's a drop from what? From 0 0.667 to what? 0 0.5. Are you with me? There's a drop from what? 0 0.667 to what? 0 0.5. But meanwhile, there was an increment from 0 0.667 to what? 0. Point. Now, class, I want to ask you a question. If AUD should drop from 400 to 300, use the chat box, those that can speak through the mic, no problem. Are you supposed to buy or you're supposed to sell? You sell. Oh, God I'm bless you, madam. Sell. You are blessed. You are. Oh, thank you, miss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I love this. Thank you so much. That shows that people are following. Thank you, Mr. Adironti. Mm -hmm. You are highly appreciated. Thank you, everybody. You are supposed to what? Sell. sell. See, I have seen people that argued with me several, and people that made terrible mistakes in buying and selling. They will be looking at the quote currency. They fail. What you should be capitalizing on is the base. The base currency is what you should want to capitalize on. Whether there's an increment or a decrement is a function of what? The base currency. Well, I repeat, whether there's an increment or decrement is a function of what? The base currency. Are you with me? Hello, class. I am not saying that in any case, the other side cannot be affected. Let me, let me raise the board. If, for instance, you have 500, 500 to 600, if this base is increasing, what is happening to this one? To the other side. If this base is increasing, what is happening to this other side? This other side will also be depreciating, to be going down. It is not possible for a currency pair to have two strongs i've never seen in the forest market and it is not also possible for a currency pair to have what two weak pairs never is never possible is it that one is strong or the other one is weak or the other one is weak and the other one is what strong that's what i just explained mr Adironti. Okay, so how are you going to know that the currency is dropping, sir? You will know, sir, from the, from the exchange rate. You will know from the exchange rate. Don't worry, I will explain that to you in subsequent classes. You know from the exchange rate. Thanks so much. Let's go to my next slide, please.
fundamental and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is a way of looking at the forest market by analyzing social, economic, and political forces that may affect the market. Now, listen, class. In Forex, I hear people saying that I'm a fundamental analyst. Another one will say I'm a technical analyst. Anybody that still have that mentality is very is doing the wrong thing. As a forex trader, you must be good in fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Are you with me? Now, we know when coronavirus was on, that kind of condition is called economical forces. We knew, we, we know exactly when Joe Biden and Trump they had their election. That is called what? Political forces. If you are going to be consistent with this training, I will teach you how to use investing.com to monitor a trade and you always win in the forest market. Are you with me? So that's it. For the meta analysis, it's more or less like what reading news. What's happening? Like sometimes when I give signals to my group, I will back it up with what fundamental analysis. Are you with me? And I'll back it up with what with news. That news will help them to what to make their what their analysis. Are you with me? Thank you. The next one is your tank analysis. Tank analysis is a way of looking at price pattern using charts to make your analysis by using horizontal lines, trend lines, Fibonacci levels, so on and so forth. Are you with me? So please, tank analysis matters a lot. Tech analysis matters a lot. I've heard so many people saying that I'm a tech and trader, I'm not a fundamental trader. <laughs> well, I see, and I always see. There's nothing bad if you're a fundamental trader and you're a tech and trader. For me, I'm both. I can do tech analysis, I can do for There are times I don't need to go through tech analysis. I'll use the news to enter the trade and I'm winning the market. There are times I don't even need the news. I would like, for instance, now, who is, who is trading life now? If you are trading live, go and check the pair Euro USD. Euro USD is forming BWAP. And from that BWAP, it is forming. There's every tendency that it will go on a long buy. If you are trading live, go and make your analysis. Euro USD is going, is forming BWAP. And from that BWAP, it will go on a long buy. That's a technical analysis. I just made. Are you with me? So that is that. Plus, we have come to the end of the trade. Go on to say some things. Please, if you are here and you feel that forex trading is a business or is a kind of skill whereby you use hundred dollars to make five hundred dollars in one day, please, you are in the wrong place. <laughs> I repeat, if you are here, you are thinking that forex trading is a place whereby you can use one thousand dollars to make six thousand dollars in one day, please, you are in the wrong place. Because I'm not even the type of person that will teach you sharp sharp money. I can only teach you how to win every day. But for you to use it to win in a way that you, you, you get the money. So see, the, see if you, you know, you know the beauty about YouTube videos. <laughs> the, you will only see when people will be saying that use $200 to win $1,000. Go on YouTube, YouTube, all those things, and you see it. But those people will never tell you the bitter side of it. They will never tell you how dangerous it is. It is sweet. But one day, when it catches up with you, it will be like, it will look as if the person is dreaming. Please have a slogan. Be, you must be patient in the market and you must not be greedy. I repeat, you must be patient in the market and you must, you must not be greedy. Thank you very much, class. God bless you. I want to say something quickly. I will drop, the, I'm recording this class. I will drop the recorded version for everybody so that I can always rewatch in case you don't understand some things. And for those that are not live with us, they can always watch. Please, I will drop my YouTube. I will, I will, I will drop the YouTube link to you. Latest before 12 tonight. I will drop the YouTube link later before 12 so that I can watch. Please, when you watch those videos, please don't so forget to subscribe. Please, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. God bless you. Please, tomorrow is under day 8 p.m. Tomorrow is under day 8 p.m. Quickly. If you have any question, you can ask me if I do. Ask your questions quickly before we go. Ask your questions quickly before we go. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Welch, I'm with you. 
Okay. I, I want to ask them, um, mm. thank you very much for your time and your thank teachings. You so I, I, me personally, I really appreciate that. Thank you so um, much. I, 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 I yearn to be a guru in forest. By the grace of God. And uh, I yearn for it. And I want to patiently follow you, sir. But I want to ask, mm. um, what is the end of this uh, program? Are you going to be teaching us like this for free? <laughs> um, is it I will, okay. I will unleash some things to you tomorrow, sir. Okay, tomorrow. Yes, right. I will unleash some things to you tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow's class for anything. I will, I will not buy it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Mr. Aderonti, you asked a question. I think after watching, I should be able to ask my questions. Yes, ask your questions now. Go on, sir. Mr. Aderonti, ask your questions. Okay, another participant again has raised. Okay, please, you are free. Okay, Mr. Gabriel, unmute yourself, Mr. Gabriel. Ask your question. Mr. Gabriel, yeah, please. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening, sir. Yeah, um, honestly, um, okay. You wonderful um, knowledge you're sharing. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you, sir. I think this man is having a network problem. No. Okay. Yes, start in it and, you know, Grow so I when I saw I was going on Facebook and I saw it, I decided to join. And, and what I'm saying is really, yes, it's really, really like giving me, you know. So I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you, sir. Okay, I didn't join the class early, <laughs> but from the time I joined the class, I understood it. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Deronti. You are blessed. I really want to appreciate everybody for being here. Thank you so much. For your time oh and i want to thank thank you too for your time i appreciate you god bless all of you please don't fail to come for tomorrow's class you know i'm begging tomorrow's class is more detailed than today's class today let's assume that what we did today was just a normal introductory class you understand tomorrow i'm talking about peeps leverage i'm talking about a lot of things tomorrow please please will every you just now be in the yes, yes. Hi, good evening, sir. yeah good evening ma good evening good evening um chatting from kaduna sorry my baby is disturbing but no, i hope no, you no, can no, hear no. me i very well very well very well ma. yes um i've had a couple of um forex um training classes but yes. i must say that yours is different thank it's you self-explanatory <laughs> i understand everything and i'm grateful for this opportunity thank you very thank much, you very much. i hope thank to you. be with you tomorrow god's thank willing you, thank you, thank, thank, you. So much. thank you so much i appreciate all of you thank you we thank god for everything we thank god for the knowledge thank you so much i promise i'll drop the, the little bit. i'll drop the little bit. thank you very much everybody yeah good night everybody good night class all see right. you tomorrow Exactly 8 p.m. Thank you, Mr. Awards. I can see your hands. God bless you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. Good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Good night. Yeah, good night, sir. Good night, everybody. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Good night. Yeah, good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye.